the Vikings defense is going to be the death of this team? Welcome back to One Bar and Lepiga Show. I'm Lepiga here with One Bar, and we're going to ask the question. We're going to answer the question. Is the Vikings defense going to be the death of this team? But before we do, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the vids, and also do what? Uh, subscribe? I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Go to Lifters Brewing Company. Thank you for Go that Lifters. test. It's like I'm like at school seeing if, you're, if I'm paying attention and I was busted. <laughs> you weren't. You weren't. Look at, I got my lift bridge tree topper right there. Ah, oh, what a topper. What a topper. Yes, we're going to be talking the 9-2 and two Vikings record-wise, whooping some serious ass. Top team in the NFC, one of the top teams. But will this defense, does it all matter? Will this defense be the death, the death of this squad? Yeah, and there's a lot to go into this. I don't think it's an easy, clear-cut answer. Um, but I'll let you start since, uh, I don't know, since I started the video, you can start. Well, let me let me preface this conversation a little bit. Is you don't need a top five defense anymore to win the Super Bowl. You don't need a this this isn't 1985 Bears. You don't need all that. Look at the last Super Bowl teams. You got the Rams, Bucks, Chiefs. Uh, I mean, were their defenses the top, number one in the league? Absolutely not. But they're they weren't where we are. I mean, you just you have to have a decent decent defense so our expectations I, I don't think are they have to be this top five top ten dominating defense but jesus christ we got to stop we, we can't keep playing the defense we're playing yeah my easy answer is probably uh but but here's why i, I say probably right at the top of my head is number one the vikings defense hasn't been great all year and they're winning games they're you know it, they're nine and two and the defense hasn't been great and they're also going to start getting a little healthier. Delvin Thompson should be back soon. Caleb Evans should be back. Andrew Blue Jr. should be back. I mean, there's some depth yeah. there. There's a, I mean, De Tomlinson is what's huge. So they were playing pretty good before he got hurt. You know, the Cardinals game, the Commanders game. They're starting to create some pressures. Uh, but I also have to sit back and think, when it comes to Ed Donatel, some of these moves uh, and how he uses his personnel are absolutely head-scratching. Uh, example, in the game on Thanksgiving, which I was there, it was Fucking amazing. Um, you got Duke Shelley. He's out, he was on the practice squad like two weeks ago, and you don't blitz, you don't you're not generating any pressure. You're leaving your fifth string corner on an island against Devontae Parker, who is three times the size of him. Uh to me, that's just simple defense. And and these are things that he's not doing, and I don't I don't get it. I'm trying to figure this thing out. But I mean, you can't just you gotta look deeper into the stats. I mean, when you look at their everyone's saying they're not bringing the house, they're not blitzing, they got some of the best pass rushers. I mean, Zary Smith has the most pressures in the league. I mean, that that says something that they are bringing it. They they rank 13th in total sacks. Um, so they're getting to the quarterback. The the big thing is what you brought up is is injuries. I mean, we got some Cam Danzer, Caleb Evans, Devin Thomas, and like you said, those are some big ass pieces, but I don't know, even before when they were out, it's not like there was much different. It came down to Ed Donatel. It came down to why the hell the cornerbacks were giving play, playing prevent pretty much on the first drive when they're on defense. So it comes down to Donatel. At the beginning of the season, my thought was, hey, it might take a little while. we got a couple new guys. we got a new defensive coordinator. Let's bring this thing together. Well, we're 11 games in, and they haven't done that. So that pipe dream's gone. Um, they need to change things up. They need to change even possible personnel. Cam Bynum's been a disaster lately. I mean, why the hell not try Josh Metellus out there? It can't get any worse. Our middle linebackers have been gross. Uh, we Channing Sullivan's been gross. Some of these guys just need to step the F up. Well, and you go back to Ed Donatel, and yeah, he's the one running this side of the ball. But, I mean, Kevin O'Connell's not just giving this guy free reign. Like, hey, do whatever you want to defense. I'm not going to pay any attention. They have to sit down, figure out how they're attacking these teams, what they're going to do. I don't know what the game plan was against New England. It was, you know, shell defense, sending no pressure pretty much the whole entire game until the end where you finally got some pressure on Mac Jones. I mean, they were pretty much content just rushing for every single snap. It wasn't working. Uh, but Kevin O'Connell has to have a say in this, too. He has to okay this plan. So it's not just Ed Donatel just sitting there doing whatever he wants. Uh, if I'm Kevin O'Connell, I'm saying, you know, screw this shell shit. Let's start getting more aggressive. Let's start attacking because we did that a little bit more. You know, the Cardinals game, the Commanders game, and the defense, I felt like they were making strides, starting to come together. And this is a huge step. I mean, obviously a huge step back against Dallas and even against a team that has a horseshit offense like the Patriots, giving up 400-something total yards and letting them score 26 points. You just can't do that. 
can't make Mac Jones, who had four touchdowns and seven interceptions, look like a, a Pro Bowl quarterback. It's, it's it's garbage when you look at who the Vikings will be playing in the NFC in the playoffs. Whether it's the Cowboys, whether it's the Eagles, whoever it may be, the Bucks getting in, uh, they all have very good offenses, and they're going to have some serious problem. We are worst in the league, giving up the most passing yards. Second in the league, giving up the most yards total. Dog shit. That will not win you. So, yes, this defense is the only thing that will be the death of them. Our offense is proven time and again. We fight our asses off to get back in this game. Special teams, aside from our kicker, good enough, damn near great. And, again, the silver line to all this is as bad as the defense has been, as loose as it has been, as bland as it has been, they're winning games despite of it. I mean, in spite of it. They're winning games. They're still winning games. And that can still happen in the playoffs. The Vikings are who they are. Uh they're not going to blow anybody out. It's going to be a fist fight every single game. But for some reason, majority of the time, they come on the top. And that can carry over to playoffs. There's no reason why that can't still be this team's identity. Uh, even if they're playing a better team, uh, they can still win these things. And, and that's what they've been doing. The Minnesota Vikings piss fire. <laughs> they piss fire, but these don't piss that fire until about the fourth quarter. The eight-minute mark. And things just get real hot. So that's it. Uh, will, this, will the defense or be the death of this team? Yeah, I mean, if they're going to lose in the playoffs, it's probably going to be why. Hope not. Hope not. Uh, yeah, but if they lose, I don't know if that's going to happen at all. All right, that's it. Let us know what you think. Will the defense be the death of them? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe, like, go to Lift Bridge, go to your liquor store, pick up delicious beers. It's still basically Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, why not? Why not keep celebrating? I'm going to get really drunk tonight. Wow. Wow. All right, remember this. Ducks and penguins were once called arse feet in the 1800s because their feet are so close to their bottoms. Right. Quack at me, you little arse foot. Quack. 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 Quack.